uh, the most uh, memorable years when I was a resident. And then right after graduation, even my professional uh, career was affected by Tau Alpa. My first job was supposed to be with San Miguel Corporation, but uh, I bumped into another brad, si Elmer Yap, na magaling na salesman, the late Elmer Yap, he encouraged me and convinced me to join Reynolds Philippines Corporation because he told me that sa San Miguel brad, kahit nakapag-medical ka na, you will be an ordinary cadet engineer. Whereas sa Reynolds, you will, be, you will be practicing industrial engineering functions, kaya lumipat ka na doon. So, I agreed with, uh, to his proposal and I joined Reynolds Philippines. And uh, even my second job was also influenced by some brads who invited me to join Asia Industries for a more uh, advanced position. And uh, all throughout my career, even when I went into my own business, I do business with brads. Parang ang, ang nung nagpunta ako sa UP, parang nag-BS Tau Alpha ako. <laughs> it was during it was during that time that uh, I was so involved with the fraternity that I forgot my academics. But uh, the things that I learned in life, uh, practically after after uh, college, was yung friendship at saka yung camaraderie, yung bonding with these people because. Hindi lang kami fraternity brothers at this point in time eh. I mean, ang feeling ko, uh, pagka may kailangan ka sa buhay, may kailangan kang ano, you just go to them, no? And uh, uh, you, it, it practically solves things that you have problems on. No? So, kausapin mo lang yung brad, maaaring hindi mismo makatulong sa'yo diretso, but knowing that you have somebody to go to is something that is very important for me as, a, as, as, as an individual. No? Uh, during my hibernation, I was involved in uh, missionary work. I, 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 I'm a pastor by profession and I have a church. Uh, actually, we assist in mga medyo may hirap na pamilya to send their uh, children to school. And uh, malaking tulong ang mga uh, kabats ko at saka fraternity members in uh, putting up that uh, adapt a scholar program for our church. Ang biggest impact para sa akin eh talagang we don't give up. We don't give up. We don't easily give up. Basta may problem, sige lang lang sige. Na hindi kami Ako, iyo ko na, suko na ako, yung ganyan. Talagang, miski na papano, nakakalusot pa rin kami. Na susolve pa rin yung problems, either nasusolve or gumagaang yung problema. Hindi mamaya. Kaya, lakas ng loob <laughs> ang biggest impact sa akin. Si Bebo Trimando was our chairman at sila, siya talaga nag-indoctrinate sa amin sa Tau Alpha and I, I cannot forget Bebo, no? And during my stay, and alaga sa akin to, to, to speak with is Jess Damasco, uh, yung Grand High namin nung pumasok kami. And most importantly, si Joboy Aliling. Uh, kasi talagang tinuruan niya kami, tinuruan niya ako uh, kung how to be a Tau Alpha and how to be a, a good person. And uh, I think uh, maraming incident na nangyari sa amin sa Tau Alpha, uh, until I became a Grand High Alpha of a fraternity na mukhang hindi naman ako initially talagang bagay doon but I was able to uh, to rise to the occasion to, so to speak and become uh, uh, one of us, one of the Tau Alpha and to me, up to now, ito ang family ko uh, Tau Alpha, especially since hindi ako nagkaroon ng sarili kong family so Yung mga batchmates ko talaga ang lagi kong nakakasama and other uh, close brads during my time. Yeah, it was such a good experience uh, that uh, even before I graduated, I was hired by a semiconductor company as a production supervisor. Um, very soon picked to be part of an international team uh, that went and started up a plant in uh, Malaysia. 
even now as I reflect back, I, I didn't know how I did it, but I'm sure it's the, uh, the character and the confidence I projected that uh, enabled me to, at a young age, uh, face those challenges. So I owe that to the Alpha. It really molded me and helped me get started. Pinili ako ni Pinoy to be a secretary of the Department of Science and Technology. When I was, I, I don't know the right term, appointed, of course, papakita mo yung CV mo. Eh, ang CV ko naman ay manipis. Hindi naman ako PhD. Pero one of the items nun sa akin CV was being uh, napili din ako one of the top 100 engineers of the century of UP during the centennial celebration. And one, ang reason bakit ako, sino nag-recommend sa akin at sino nagtulak sa akin, ay eh, blood ko rin, Pepo Villado. Kung manipis man yung aking CV, because of that, maging para bang okay na yung Okay na yun. I mean, tanggap naman, so I was appointed. Now, during my initial first few months sa uh, Department of Science, kasi being tawal pa nga yun. Alam mo na may mga tawal pa matatapang eh. As a straight, tinanggal ko yung ano, director ng pag-asa. One of the, yun ang first major nat natanggal ng government official during panahon ng Pino. Because of incompetence. Ngayon, Hindi ko alam na maram may ano pala siya, he is part of a bigger group, influential group. So, because uh, barang nabangga mo yung group, na ano ako sa ano, media, isang katotak na eh, hindi naman tayo sanay sa media. Tumawag ako eh, no? Brad din, Tito Aliling. Immediately, naghanap siya ng contact niya sa media para para ma-address yung aking yung backlash. Parati ako nasa TV, nasa newspaper. Parang parang kami bully ng kakawawa. Anyway, na, natulungan ako noon. I survived ko yung aking first para mang very hot ano. Ngayon, yung bigdag ko lang siguro one of my siguro most valued siguro recognition yung napili akong uh, most distinguished alumni ng UP uh, Alumni Association which is the highest uh, uh, award again sino nagrecommend sa akin Brad Corin si Bert Mendoza Yung, as an entrepreneur kasi, meron yan ups and down. Lalo ko innovator, lalo kung mas mabilis ang up, ups and down. So, misan talaga, sumag, baksak talaga kami. Ang tumulong talaga sa amin ay Brad. If I can mention, si Jerry Esquivel and Pangkoy of ASEC. Hinigyan kami ng kontrata during the time na baksak kami. Na critically, kailangan namin yun. Parang ano yun eh, lifesaver. Naging bridge. And after that, eh, nagtuloy-tuloy naman, eh, ano naman talaga tayo. Yan ang bigging tao, Alpha Survivor. You learn how to survive. Kaya ang adventurers, eh. Kahit anong alon, eh, basta alon. Yun, yun ang talaga, eh. Siguro, yun ang natutunan natin sa tao, Alpha, to be a survivor. At siguro, ngayon na less busy na ako, I would like, siguro, to devote more time being with brands kasi you can equate it with happiness. Yung aming moto nga eh, yung aming Bat 70. Uh, we are more than the brides, we are family. Mm -hmm.